Hi, I want to introduce you to emotional grammar. Well, what is emotional grammar? Really, it's about looking at what your thoughts are and when your thoughts are kind of programming you in a wrong way. So like you're thinking something and it's not making you happy and you keep on thinking it anyway. That's not really a useful way to spend your time. So the first thing, uh, my, my presupposition is that the thought is a flow of energy in the mind and when the energy doesn't flow properly it doesn't it doesn't sort of go away it comes back on you a bit like something bad that you've eaten it comes back on you so really it's a question of finding out why like in kung fu you know energy has to flow like in life energy has to flow like in feng shui every energy has to flow it's like in everything energy has to flow it's finding out where it's blocked so let's try and work work it out where that is so basically you can say a thought like i hate my job and if you think that thought and you keep on thinking i hate my job i hate my job actually well it's not very good for you and it's okay to hate your job some days and it's okay to like it some days but if you're really kind of stuck in a vicious circle of just saying the same thing that's not going to be good for your health it's not going to be good for your mind it's certainly not going to be good for your uh, job and potentially your income so let's just uh, break it down each word is the smallest smallest part of information uh, that any person can understand so let's just follow it through so if you say the whole sentence and you need to pick a sentence which gets a, a negative feeling for you yeah I hate my job so if you said that and you had a bad feeling you'd say it slowly and as you say I see what you feel if there's a feeling write it down and write it down directly under the word I and then hate okay whatever feeling my whatever feeling and job whatever feeling now if you don't have a feeling don't write anything down honestly but if you've got a feeling then write it down and be quite specific if you're specific then um, it helps your mind become conscious so if you said I tingling in my behind my eyes yeah then next time you say the sentence instead of saying I hate my job you would say tingling behind my eyes hate my job and then what this is where the magic happens and I'm not doing any energy work apart from the very very natural energy work of becoming aware and connecting with yourself and connecting with your feelings so then the feeling just basically changes so um, you're going to um, just keep on doing that so if that feeling changes from behind your eyes to moving to your chest then instead of saying I a sort of feeling behind my eyes hate my job you're going to say feeling in my chest hate my job so you can notice the, the way I'm saying it I'm saying uh, in the feeling my feeling in my chest is replacing the word I and that's why I call it emotional grammar because instead of saying um, the grammar we, and the thought that we've said over and over again that doesn't improve things I'm actually asking you to say what you feel and then the words which have no particular meaning so those those are, are words which are flowing now my other tip for you is that as you go through this you might find that um, you've made quite bad attributions to to words so instead of um, it might be I hate my and then when you say job you feel hate so you say I hate my hate of course you hate your hate if you hate your hate it's going to get go on and on and on it's never going to get better so you can understand that logically um, but once you become aware of it things start to change and it's quite good to actually say okay where do I feel say the feeling hate in my body where am I feeling it and you know is it moving is it still and just write down some information about it okay now what's also really useful to know is sometimes feeling come up in between words and if they come up in between words then you need to say them in addition to the two words 
So in the end, that might sound like I, funny feeling in my neck, hate my job. And again, just as long as you're saying it in the right order and you're saying it, um, saying exactly what you feel, then it will change. Now, there's a lot more information which you can get um, from my uh, online course at Udemy. So there'll be a link provided. Um, but go to Udemy, Udemy and look for Emotional Grammar. And you can also go to wixway.com and emotionalgrammar.com for more information.